Thank you, Squarespace, for sponsoring this video. Whether you're looking for a website, blog, or an online store, make sure to check out Squarespace. Use the coupon code Manny. You get 10% off. What's going on everybody, it's Manny Ortiz and if you love photography, you should subscribe to this YouTube channel right now because every single week I upload photography tutorials, behind the scene videos, every single week. So you don't wanna miss out on all the goodness, hit that subscribe button y'all. Thank you for the support. In this video, I'm gonna be talking about how I use one light in the studio. And for my beginner flash photographers out there, I, I feel your pain because I know that using one light is not as easy as it looks. There's a lot of little things that go into using one flash in a studio. Let's head over to the studio so I can show you how I do it. When getting great light in a studio using only one flash, it's all about the placement of the light. Now here you notice that the light is a couple of feet higher than the model's head and it's angled down. The reason being, well, it creates a nice sculpting effect on her face that's very flattering. One thing to keep in mind, when, when positioning your light, you don't want it to be too high where you're just lighting up her forehead and you're getting a shadow in her eye. You wanna get a reflection of that modifier in her eye, just like I did here. For these first set of photos, you're also gonna notice that the softbox is literally right next to the camera. So it's on camera right, and it's at a more centered position. The reason why I like having my light at this position is you get a nice even light on the model's face with minimal shadow. And it also allows for more flexibility when posing, as you see here, where she can kind of move to the left, to the right, and you're still gonna get great light on her face every time. When you move your light to the side of the model, chances are you're gonna get a more dramatic image because you're introducing more shadow to the image. Now, usually I prefer shooting like this because I do like my moody, dramatic photos, but you also have to keep in mind that now when it comes to posing, you're more limited because if you turn her the other way, she's gonna be, her face is gonna be in complete shadow. When it comes to getting a consistent catch light in the model's eye, you wanna make sure that the light is not too far off to the side because what's gonna happen is you're not gonna get a catch light in the eye just like I did it here. Now, if you guys wanna spice things up and add a little bit more dynamic to the photo, you can also add a reflector. Now, like I said, all the links to the gear used in this video is in the description box if you guys wanna check it out. Um, what it does is gonna fill the shadows in and it's also gonna give you a really cool catch light. When you have the light placed to the side, you can also place a reflector on the other side, basically bouncing the light back onto her and filling in the shadows. What I love about that is it gives you an illusion of having a two light setup. Right, we're back in my office. I hope you enjoyed this video so far, but most importantly, I hope you learned something. Now I just wanna go over some of the gear that I use in this video and why I love it so much. So the light that I was using in this video is the Flashpoint Explorer 600. This is a 600 watt monolight with a built-in battery. So this battery is built in and you don't need any cords or anything like that, any, any transmitters, it's just a standalone unit. And the reason why I love this light is because it has withstood, it has literally gone to hell and back. The screen is cracked, it has taken, just tumbles onto the concrete, it has fallen so much and guess what? It's still going. Highly recommended light, the Flashpoint Explorer 600. You can get it for about $500. Trigger that I use, the Godox X1T trigger. Communicates wirelessly with the Flashpoint Explorer 600. So when you connect this to your camera, you don't have to walk over to your light, press any buttons. You can control everything wirelessly with this trigger. I know you guys noticed that beautiful hand-painted backdrop that I was shooting with. Uh, it was provided by Franklin Backdrops. He is based out of Atlanta, Georgia. Uh, go ahead and check him out. Link is down below. The modifier that I used in the video is the Palsy Buff 47 inch Octobox. Uh, this modifier doesn't directly attach to my Flashpoint Explorer. You need an adapter. If you guys are looking for a modifier that can natively connect to the Flashpoint with a Bowens mount, it's the Parapop 38 inch Octobox. So it's a glow Parapop. And what I love about this is super easy, super light, 
and it's super easy to set up. So it really pops open. And what you do is hold two of these clamps and then it folds up again. And then it comes with its own carrying case. This is my favorite modifier right here. So if you guys wanna check that out, link is down below as well. The camera and lens combo that I use for this photo shoot is the A7R3 with the 85 1.4 G Master lens. This is probably the best camera that I've ever owned. It's, abs it's an absolute monster. And the 85 millimeter is a great focal length for portraits. Uh, I initially was gonna use the 200 millimeter F2, but I was literally across the entire studio and just I felt it was unnecessary. The 85 millimeter did a great job. You get great compression with this lens. Highly recommended uh, portrait lens right here. Everybody, thank you so much for tuning into this week's tutorial. Uh, obviously, my objective is to try to help the photography community in any way I can, try to make you a better photographer. So if you're new here, again, subscribe because I, I upload weekly videos and uh, drop me a like if you enjoyed this video. I would really appreciate it. So until next week, see you later, guys. Huge shout out to the team that helped me create this video. Sarah for her awesome, awesome modeling. Link is down below to her Instagram. My buddy with Impact Images Photography. He let me use his beautiful studio. And my best friend, Miguel, for doing the video. Thank you, guys.